So diabetes leads to complications that affect kidneys and eyes and nerves and other organ systems. And to decrease that burden of health, uh, that burden of disease, it's necessary to bring down the plasma glucose. And the way we know that that is being accomplished is by measuring the hemoglobin A1C. When we measure A1C, hemoglobin A1C, what we're measuring is the amount of glucose that has been attached to a hemoglobin protein. The amount of glucose that gets attached is directly proportional to the amount of glucose that's circulating in your system. So that's how we are able to get an idea of what your glucose levels have been. Until recently, we used a, a technique called high-performance liquid chromatography which at the time uh, and for the last several years was really considered the state-of-the-art method. The new method uses capillary electrophoresis, which is a more powerful technique that allows separation of A1C from all other forms of hemoglobin that are present in, the, in patient samples. The University of Virginia is the first institution in this part of the country to introduce this test for patient care. So in the clinical laboratory, um, in the core laboratory specifically, we run about four million tests a year. Having um, highly sophisticated technology such as capillary electrophoresis for A1C, it better enables us to monitor people and to detect those who might have prediabetes um, or be going in that stage. It is absolutely critical to have day-to-day -day reproducibility of the results. Sometimes a clinician, physicians taking care of patients with diabetes will be looking for a change of a couple of tenths. If the assay itself shows that much variation, then there's no hope of being able to see these small changes. They won't be meaningful within the patient. So the ability to measure A1C is really helped out in the field of diabetes. For example, diagnosis, you can just come to your doctor's office for a well visit can be the middle of the day. It doesn't have to be pre-scheduled to do a fasting blood draw um, and, and measure glucose. So that's given us a great advantage. So it's this results of this test that allow a doctor and a patient to know whether the treatment that, they're, that is being done is actually working and taking things in the right direction. And so it's very important that the assay be reproducible and accurate, get the right result and a reproducible result every time. There's a lot of science in medicine, and if you're very good at science, then I believe that you can really help support the work that our clinicians here at EVA do, and my role in that is to bring them the best laboratory assays possible. It's really rewarding to see your hard work get, trans get immediately translated into a benefit uh, for patients and to pr provide the best patient care that we can.